How's it going everyone? Dan here and welcome back to the By Name of Isaac at the Birth Plus. Today we're taking a look at another mod. Taking out a, a rather decently sized mod pack. It is called Isaac the Devil's Harvest. Um, this mod hasn't been updated till, since April 12th, but it's, it looked like it added a bunch of new stuff. Honestly, there's more stuff than I can really describe to you guys. I don't really know, but um, look at this fancy new screen. That's actually really cool. Apparently there's all four new characters. A bunch of challenges, I believe they said they added. Let me see if I can't see them. Yeah, we got five new challenges, four new characters. So a lot, a lot of content to be found here. As always, if you want to check out this mod, link will be in the description. I saw some reviews saying that there's there's some bugs that makes this mod unplayable, and I really hope we don't run into said mods. But you know, I don't really have a choice. You know, every mod has is expected to have bugs in it. So let's get started. Let's check out one of these new characters. We got Flyzik, Fiend, Golem, and Baphomet. I like the sound of Baphomet, but I'm going to play as Flyzik because it sounds cute. Isaac is a fly. Sounds quite interesting. All right, so. Oh, well then. So it looks like Flyzik has no range at all. Um, and instead attacks with flies. Can our tears actually deal damage or are we forced to use flies? Because, I mean, I don't mind attacking with flies only. I mean, it's basically trying to play guppy without the tear part, which I think I'm fine with. But it looks like we can only have two flies at a time, which, again, I'm fine with. It's a cool concept. But apparently this is more than just, you know, your typical, you know, add stuff to the game. It's like uh, custom music, custom bosses. There's, this gives the whole package here. Like I said, it's it's not perfectly rated on Steam, and there are like a review, some certain reviews saying that it, there's some things wrong with it. But I don't really care. You know, we try to have some fun. And while I'm while I'm talking about while I'm on that uh, concept, I do want to say, whoops, I apologize about the long delay between these videos and like the last video. I know the last thing I uploaded was a dark cloud video, and then the uh, the whole saying I'm going to casualize the channel. But I haven't really, you know, put up anything new ever since Sam was going to casualize the channel. It's because I was trying to, you know, take a weekend to actually just relax. And not really worry about videos too much. Because, like, I've been stressing out lately. Getting mad lately. And it's just not been good. So, I'm trying to just relax this weekend. Give myself a little bit of a break. And, um, I finally got around to getting some time to, you know, record some stuff. In between, you know, playing games and all that. So... We should should be good to go, hopefully. Whoops. Okay, so it looks like if we shoot and miss, we, we spawn a fly. And we can only have two flies at once. However, we can still use our tears as an attack. But we have a very, very limited range otherwise. So it is weird. It's definitely weird, but kinda it's changing it's changing the way you have to play the game. You have to play nice and close up, and then if you really want flies, you just gotta, you know, not hit anything at all. But I gotta admit, it's kind of weird to see, like, my tears disappear and then have them not end. Or, like, they just vanish. They're not trying to travel and then, like, just fall off. They're just literally just vanishing, and it's, it's throwing me off a little bit. But, no worries. I find it kind of odd that flies that can't fly. You know, he is a fly of all things. I'm surprised he can't fly, but I guess I'd be a little bit overpowered. Literally, we would just be able to camp over rocks and then never, ever take damage. Spicy chicken. What kind of fucking pill? Spicy chicken? Really? That's just random. I don't even know what that means. I'm, I, I honestly don't know what that means, but, um... Spicy chicken is nice, you know, when it's done properly. Otherwise, you know, I don't, I don't really like my chicken to be, you know, dry. Because that's all the time. As long as it's like a moist, juicy chicken and it's spicy, I'm fine with that. Was that... Are these Tetris flies? Hold up. You see that? And that one exploded. What the hell? I'm so confused. We got a Joker card. We could use this on this first floor and see if we get some new... De look, look at that. Like, they're an L shape and then they separate and then one of them explodes apparently. Well, they didn't explode that time. That was weird. Maybe a random fly enemy can spawn out of those and it spawn one of those bomb flies. Hell if I know. Let's go ahead and just pop the Joker card right away. Got my shadow. 
which I'm definitely just not going to take for obvious reasons. Honey Drop! It's our first custom boss here. Okay, yeah, let's just use this. So tower... T I didn't know the tower card actually worked with scatter bombs. I actually didn't know the tower card actually applied bomb effects as is. That's... That's interesting. Th I'm pretty sure that's a game effect, because if you get Curse of the Tower, then... It applies your bomb effects every time you take damage, so I mean... I guess that makes sense that the normal tower card would do so as well. So is this a library up here? It is pretty close. It is not. It is a very loud shop! Shop music, hello? <laughs> a considerable volume difference. But um, yeah, hey, as I was saying, I do want to thank you guys for, you know, sticking around and, you know, sticking with me while I've been, you know, kind of out of it as of late. Like I said, I'm going through a lot and I, I hate to, you know, try and record videos when I'm not at my best, pretty much, so. Hopefully we'll get there. We'll get back in the swing of things. I got a short day at work tomorrow. Ooh, hold up. I like this. Okay. All right. Oh shit, I hit the orange fire. That's okay, it's fine. Oh, excuse it. This music is jamming. Hold up. They, they didn't mention that there's new music inspired by Danny B. So, I mean... Danny B has some really crazy music. As in crazy as in good. I mean, this man made music for Necrodancer too, Danny B did, and I love Necrodancer's songs. So if they're inspired by him, they, they must be good. I'm excited to hear the rest of it. As always, I am a very music-inclined individual. I am really, really, you know, affected by music when it comes to it sometimes, so... It's definitely not. Uh, you know, I'm probably playing this character all wrong. If I want to attack, I should just like shoot near them instead of like at them. And just let my flies do the work. Because being point blank trying to hit these shots is not doing me any favors at all. Also, this character starts off with two damage. I just noticed that. So our flies are doing four damage a hit, which I guess is not a terrible amount, but lower than I expected really. All right. Trying to get ourselves caught. How to jump is a very wonky item. I don't really understand what determines how far you jump at all. But uh, perhaps it's, this is not really the time to try and figure out how. Perhaps we should be worrying more about um, how we're going to make this character um, take off, of course. Oh man, good times. But yeah, you know, there's lots of things I've been trying to change. I've been trying to not really get upset as much from like work and stuff. I've been trying to live stream a little bit more so I can interact with you guys a lot. And of course, you know, when I try to do stuff like that, I get, you know, I do make my mistakes. Like this past live stream I did uh, yesterday. I did it today, but you guys will be seeing this on Sunday, I hope. So more than likely yesterday, um, I... Uh, was doing a stream, grinding stream of Mobby Pro in, in Windcraft, and I literally had to mute the video because I took a little bit of like a five minute break in between, and I forgot to unmute the game sound. So when I went to play Windcraft, I literally streamed almost two hours of Windcraft with no game sound at all, and that actually that actually sucked. That actually bothered me a lot. Man, we got some volume issues. It seems. With some of the soundtracks, but that's okay. Sometimes louder is better. What? I said sometimes louder is better. What? You said louder is butter? No, I said louder is better. And maybe, maybe Lou should just literally not actually try to hit Monstro. We'll actually do more damage just letting our flies do the work than actually trying to hit Monstro. In fact, maybe I just aim at the wall here. Oh wait, no, if our tears don't... If our, if our tears hit a wall, they don't actually make a fly. Interesting. Okay. Well, now I got your game, Flyzik. I kinda got your game. 
But we're gonna need some damage upgrade stat. We need we need damage. ASAP. What the hell? What okay. Oh okay. Did you just see what just fucking happened there? The fucking item pedestal was a mimic. What the fuck? How low am I on HP now? I don't even know how much HP I have anymore. These are both new items. We have two or one. No, we have one red heart. And these are both new items. So I don't really know what either one is. But I also don't know if they're going to kill me. So uh, there's that. Let's take the two-hour deal. Blood teeth. We're dead. You know what? I don't want to hear it. I'm actually, I'm actually kind of fucking mad. <laughs> fucking middle finger ass item pedestal mimic. Okay. Alright. I gotta admit that's clever, but at the same time, I'm actually kind of mad. Yeah, I think that was the point. <laughs> God damn it. Just give me a fucking middle finger, why don't you? That's okay. That's okay. I find I found it quite hilarious. I think it's a good joke, good joke. But now it's time to actually win this thing. We're gonna get past the basement and we're gonna check out some of these new items. Regardless of not, if they kill me. Even though it did actually kill me, and I actually really don't know what Blood Teeth actually does or is. Maybe it's supposed to kill me, because it says something about the sweet embrace of death, and I really hope that wasn't one of those items that was just like, well, you did. Because that wouldn't be fair. Wouldn't be fair at all, would it? Would be nowhere near fair. But that's okay. Uh, I'm gonna let that first death slide. So now I know now, apparently, to attack every single item pedestal before I pick it up, because apparently there's a chance it could be fucking mimics. What the hell are white bombs? Kidney bean, All right? What do white bombs do? Let's all find out. It didn't do anything. Oh, did, was that a triple bomb? Is that what it was? We didn't start out with three bombs, did we? I don't even know anymore, dude. You know, go ahead and uh, go ahead and get love to you, dude. Do my bidding for me. You're on the same team. Come on. Oh God. I didn't have a choice there. I was supposed to attack those guys, man. I'm getting, I'm getting killed here. All right. We, we gotta start playing better first if we expect to get past this basement. Cause it's not gonna happen playing like this shit. Playing like shit won't get us shit. Pause button. Honestly, could be effective depending on what items we get later. So you know what? I'm actually gonna take pause button over kidney bean. If we get an orbital, pause button will be our uh, basically free win. But I don't know if I really know I want to win the game like that. Was he this boss music? Once again, loud, but I like it. I don't like it loud, but I mean, I just like the I just like the theme in general. But I can't help but think that it's not really it's not really fitting with this type of game. It's like it's all energetic and like it's almost dancey almost, but it doesn't really fit in the boss room. I feel like this would be more of a dungeon dungeon theme or a floor theme, but you know. No complaints from me. What we got here? Locus of death. Not like I have a choice at this point. I can see forever. I might want to try and go find those rooms. Or or not. Not really. We don't have to find anything. Uh time for our rematch, eh, Monstro? I can't believe the first deal to the I get, I saw two new items. I couldn't even afford them because I took so much damage. And I cursed the unknown. It's like they knew. And then I got that fucking mimic that blasted my last black card away. 
And apparently it does a full heart of damage at that. That's that's just like a that is like a major fuck you, man. It's the freaking biggest fuck you in the game. Man. I wonder what the odds of, a, of an item pestle being a mimic are. Is there, is there any way to tell? Black Belt, Karate God. We got 0.30 damage upgrade. I don't know what that what that does for us though. And then we got this heart. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna take it. Lust, sinful desires. Oh yeah, everyone's got a little bit of lust in us every once in a while, but don't know what that means. Also, we lost that damage upgrade. What? What happened? Why we lose a damage upgrade though? What happened? Why we lose a damage upgrade? Can Flyzik not get damage upgrades? If so, that if can if not, that's that's kind of annoying. And that was a random colored penny that did nothing. I don't know what's going on anymore, dude. Two of spades. I actually don't know what's going on anymore. Because I don't know what's going on, I'm just gonna casually, you know, open all these. And then take damage. Well. Oh, fuck. Well, shit. I am playing like garbage, but you know what? We're making this character work, even if I have to do a third run on top of this run. I'm really playing it wrong. I know I am. I'm playing it absolutely wrong. Fucking bonies. It's fine. I'm gonna win one of these days. I gotta play the character right. The character's flyzik, meaning we don't we don't shoot the enemies with our tears. We just let our flies do the work. We just run around and look pretty. At this point, apparently we don't get any damage upgrades. Which, if that's the case, would mean we're stuck at you know just four damage the whole time. Which, oh great, is not exactly what I would call efficient, but yo, know, who cares? Don't know what kind of key that was, but we got halitosis. Now that now the game kind of wants me to get up close. It's kind of like they saw the last two and they're like, well, Dan keeps playing it like it's a normal character. Well, I guess he can't be trusted, you know, otherwise. So we're just giving him an item that helps him deal damage to close up enemies and by deal damage I mean poison them which is may as well be the same damn thing anyway ah damage poison what's the what's the difference there's not one see how do you can see it my way now we're winning this run 100 percent I might be playing badly, and I, you know, I'm not blaming Rust, I'm not blaming nothing. Sure, I haven't played Isaac in a few days, but I'm not going to blame the Rust. I got no one to blame but myself. I got to adjust my play style to use flies. So be it. I got you. Ragaman. Okay, now, now, I, can, now I can see like the boss theme in it a little bit. I think I'm down with this with this theme now. Just had to get used to it. Like, well, I expect to just master this master this mod pack in just a few runs. Nah, man. When you get introduced to a new a new environment, you gotta get used to it little by little. Now there better be a way to be able to tell something to mimic or not. Yeah, I figured. So the only way you can tell is if you go fucking near it. That's so. That's fine. That's fine. One hundred percent fine. It's one hundred percent fine. 
Is it actually fine? You know, we'll talk about that later. It seems the only way to check is to approach every item pedestal slowly because, like I said, there's no guarantee. You can't shoot it before you pick it up. You can just wary go near it. So just like normal mimics, we're just gonna have to approach very slowly. Every item pedestal. Also, that guy jumped at me. You guys saw it. I swear to God, he just he just jumped at me. You guys saw it, right? That that zombie just like he just reached out and grabbed my health. He really wanted it, and he got it. So there was another mod pack I was gonna do before this one. It was like an archery mod for this game. But the, the run that I did for it actually bugged out halfway and it kind of just bothered me a lot. And by bugged out I mean it completely stopped working halfway through the run. And I was just like, what the hell? I don't get it. And I tried, but it was a little bit underwhelming to be an entertaining run for you guys. So I just went in. I mean, cause I had like a cute me and I was using it most of the time compared to actually using the, the mod character, the archery character, so I decided I'll just, I'll just pass on that one and we'll, I'll try and bring you guys since a little bit more entertaining, a little bit more uh, bombastic. Oh, that one exploded before? That fly right there? Yeah, seems like it. So those little green flashing flies are, are bomb flies. Alright, got you. And that might not be green. It looks green to me, so I'm calling it green. Freaking sue me. Dan's slightly colored while I'm between yellow and green. These are definitely yellow. Those other ones look green to me. Black bean. Alright. Once again, more items to, you know, help us do damage up close. The game really knows what I'm trying to do here. And perhaps if that's what the game's gotta do, then that's what the game's gotta do. If that's what R and Jesus wants us to do, then that's what R and Jesus is gonna want us to do. Now, hopefully we had an item that whose effect is actually known before we actually, you know, I mean when we take it. And so we're not trying to figure out what's what at this point. But I get it, you know. We're doing, we're like, this is like a burst damage character almost, so we do random spits and bursts of 8 damage when we get 2 flies out. Otherwise, you know, I can get like a solid DPS of just like, you know, 4, four DPS. Not terrible, but you just have to play it, you have to play it weird, which is, it's just awkward. But that's okay. I guess it'd be a little bit overpowered if he just, you know, if he shot just flies in general. But that's okay. Cause you wouldn't be able to take care of fires or anything if you didn't actually shoot tears, so um does it make sense. Now for the third time this run, Monstro dies, we get a tears upgrade, which is actually a tears upgrade, and we get that same item, which I don't say I still don't know what that does. And that's Cricket's body. Is it? Tammy's body tears up at a price and the price was uh, minus three luck and I still don't know what this is it's lust but I, I don't know what lust does so I'm just I'm gonna leave it alone now tears up great seem to have given us access to five flies compared to our normal two so it took us all the way to the cap does his tier stat determine how many flies he can have? If so, that's really awesome. If not, that's still pretty awesome. I guess we'll see when we get rid of all the flies. Okay, so it doesn't look like we can have we can have five flies now. I'm down with this. I think we got ourselves a run this time, boys. So he can get tears of grace, he just can't get damage upgrades it seems. Unless the karate belt 
have like a price to keep our damage at that point. Otherwise, I don't really know. Either way, just because we got this scissor guard doesn't mean we're, we're not safe. We're not completely safe just yet. Unfortunately, this kind of means we're going to have to, you know, dodge better because my HP is still not in the greatest of places. Not as great as I would want it to be. Could use some more HP. Could use a little bit less in the way of item pedestal mimics, but you know. Mimics want to be assholes in every game they're in, so you know what? That's okay. So I, I ain't mad at the mimics, I'm really not. In fact, I feel like mimics should be more of a thing. So they gave us two bombs, is what those are. Double bombs. Oh god! Jesus. Man, these like... These Tetris flies are... It's dangerous. I'm trying to ninja you with them. With those bomb flies out of nowhere. I'm calling them Tetris flies because that's what they remind me of. Like they're literally just stacked on top of each other like Tetris. Like Tetris. A game that I'm terrible at. But yeah, one of my favorite games as a kid was Tetris Attack, but that's not even the same game. In fact, Tetris Attack has nothing to do with Tetris. Not even the same game style as Tetris. I still, to this day, don't know why they even named that game Tetris Attack. I mean, it went from Panel to Pond to Tetris Attack in the NA. I'm just like, why? Or why? It's not even it's not even Tetris game style. But I don't complain. Tetris Attack, one of my favorite games from my childhood. Now, let's do this. Give me some more HP, please. Well, not my HP at all. More than even damage right now. I would love HP. Just give me HP. Or both. Give me the meat. Is that a jar of honey? Jar of puke. Tears upgrade. Ew. Gross. Why is a jar of puke a tears upgrade for one? Also, we didn't even get a tears upgrade from this. So I guess Tammy's body doesn't exactly break the tear cap. So we're going to need some, some tear cap breakers. Magic fingers. And we're striking out on space ride on the weight. Oh, what's going on? But I don't like it. Not one bit. I'm gonna need you to get your head in the game, game. Let me get some better stuff. Let me get carried. Alright, what a nickel? What? What a nickel? What? I can't hear you over the sound of the shop. I said, what a nickel. Should I have taken it over magic fingers? Eh. Magic fingers can come in handy in case we need to do, you know, a solid two damage to everything. Once again, volume kind of, kind of up there. You know, I'm about to... I'm just going to pay five cents to get past a good majority of this room. Kind of like the the six, like the eight, eight bit slash 16 bit vibe I'm getting from this floor thing. It sounds like a, like an old, old game. It's really cool. That was a two cent piece that that penny. So since they changed all like the the multi the multi pickups were just were just like different colored pickups, so we'll know what they are. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, but notice uh we're following the old HP right here. That was a negative key. What the fuck? No, my key. Is that half a black card? Yes, it is. Oh, wait, are we about to become Tammy? Got Guppy's collar and then Cricket's paw. 
Convert to damage. Wait, what, really? Why well, I feel like we're gonna lose that damage upgrade anyway? What if I use this again? Okay, we can't. So it converts red hearts into damage. Now I hope we keep that damage upgrade. I like that black belt damage upgrade. Because if we lose a damage upgrade because I just paid a red heart for it, I'm going to be kind of mad. Maybe I should take Cricket's Paw with me? But, oh, Mom's Knife. I think Mom's Knife actually breaks this character. Or it just won't be effective as this character. So I, I'm actually going to avoid taking Mom's Knife completely. Because I don't know what it does with this character. Even though I really want to win, I kind of don't want to ruin the concept of being able to spawn flies like this. Now, unless they stack... Oh, crap. Man, I might, I might have a choice here. Hold up. Well, let's not let's not get too hasty here. I think we might have to take it anyway. Just to see if it actually synergizes. I highly doubt it. Let's see what happens. No, nope, it's just a normal, just a normal mom's knife. Unfortunately. Meaning it breaks the character as I figured it would. Now I could all F4 the game and then you know, reset that. Which I might do, just you know, just so we can avoid, you know, keep the keep the concept going. Or I could re can I remove mom's knife from my is that a negative bomb? It is. God damn it. Yeah, I think I might just take away mom's knife from myself. Kind of takes away from the, the gimmick of the character. If that's even possible. Yeah, is it possible in that to remove? Yeah, it's remove mom's knife. There we go. Alright. Yeah, fuck it. I just wanted to see. Alright. Now, we need to not die, as, I, as I've said many times. We need to not die. What? I said we need to not die. Okay, I'm done. That joke has played itself out. No, seriously, though, we need to not die. It's been three runs. I can't keep dying like this. We gotta at least see other bosses in the game. See what's been changed. Okay, that one was real, apparently. Krampus is also real, for better or for worse. I don't think, oh shit, I don't think Lump of Coal would really do me any good at all. And so it gives it to me anyway. Yeah, Lump of Coal won't do me any good. And here we are, still on a 2 HP. But at least we're doing, you know, six damage a fly now, which is nice. I feel like we can get like maybe two more damage upgrades, our our flies would be in a really good situation. Now ten damage is a nice, nice round. Is that a warp pipe? Do I dare? What is this? A full eternal heart? What? I guess I have no choice. I'll trust the warp pipe. What the f- No way. So we got warp all the way down to the womb too. But we got given four boss items as a payout. But we're not going to be able to leave. Passive- Wait. Binky just lowered us down to a one tier to- Oh my. Okay, I no longer have any complaints, but we're not gonna be able to finish the game like this. But holy shit, our our damage is gonna skyrocket so we got to the tier cap now. Alright, so the warp pipe literally was a warp pipe, worked us to literally the end of the game. But there were three dots on it, so maybe it just warped us three levels down, but this is like four levels down. We were only on the caves too. It's a bad bomb. 
It's a poison bomb, I guess I should say. Kind of like a Mario Bros. 2 reference there. Or, no, a Lost Levels reference there, which is supposed to be Mario Bros. 2, I believe, so... I'm so curious, why the hell did Pacifier lower us down to a 1? Maybe that's what uh, Cricket's body does? Or not Cricket's body. Tammy's body does. It lowers you down as maximum as you can go, but it won't do it until you get a, a cat breaking item, which is that worse for me. Clemens, we got flies for days. And with flies for days, meaning our DPS goes through the freaking roof. So it seems the trick to this character is not damage upgrades, but tears upgrades. Because the more flies you have, it doesn't really matter how much damage you have. In the, the day, flies are life. Now we can still die, Dad. No, 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 don't, don't think just because you got all these fancy tears upgrades, meaning you're freaking invincible, because you're not. You're still trying to get close to these enemies, and you're taking a full heart of damage per hit now, and it's not really helping you out too much. So I'm gonna need you to chill. You know how to chill, right? And it's not the chill definition that these kids be using nowadays either. You just need to chill. Now, are there any tended rocks in this room that I can see? Because any health how it matters at this point. That one? Nope. No? Tended rocks? I think that's one right there, actually. Ah, it was. Good eyesight, Dan. Good eyesight. Thank you. Yes, I just think to myself. Don't, don't blame me. Don't judge me. I have a problem. Sometimes you need a little bit self -en self encouragement, man. Now my flies, destroy them. It's really hard to get my flies to aggro when you can't actually shoot the enemy because of the poopy range. Normally flies are pretty smart for aggro and things, but uh... Oh god! Fucking lumps, man! Hello? Alright, what we got? It lives. Oh boy. Uh, oh no 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 We can't lose. Not right now. We just have to beat Mom's heart and we win. Oh, well, no, we don't. We have to beat Isaac and we win. Shit. Easier said than done when half our flies aren't even aggroing. Alright, right here would be nice. Oh, shit. No! I'm alive. We are not fighting Hush, but uh, I need to go get some HP. Without dying. Let's walk carefully. Okay. We're looking good now. Oh, well, we don't have the polar or the negative yet. We can go up, we just can't go any further than that. Still not, not exactly uh, the greatest run right now. The game. Speed limit up. Oh, okay, so we're just max speed now. This is dangerous. I don't like this room. I don't like this room anymore! No! Placenta! Oh no. Oh no. We don't have the Polaroid. That's right. I forgot. Oh, oh you fuck. You wouldn't dare. You actually, yeah, I'm about to say you wouldn't dare. Screw me over with Daddy Long Legs. You would screw me over with Conquest, though. Give me health, like right now. I need health. No! Oh! Oh, we're alive! Guppy's Collar has revived us. We're fine. Oh, wait, these guys still shoot beams. You hear this 
beat though? Yo, this beat is fire though. It's still loud! It's very loud. Thank you, Placenta. Now if you can regen another half heart for me, that'd be great. No, 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 no. Or just give me another half heart. That'd be great. Yeah. Drop a half heart for me. Keep me alive. Would be honestly the best thing you've ever done to me since sliced bread. Like 100 percent I wouldn't complain. Just keep me alive for you know a little bit longer. 100 percent would not complain at all. You know, all you gotta do is drop me any type of HP. Ooh, those guys are those guys are a little tricky. No 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 no. I don't think you understand. And come this far to lose. Now none of this is HP, but I believe. Uh oh. I believe you can give me HP. If Placenta, you wanna regen me again? Go ahead, bruh. Oh, we regen again, nice. Thank you, Placenta. Alright. Now we just have a you know a shears charge before we go into uh the Isaac boss fight. I'm down. You know what? Fuck this room. Whew. And there's a red heart. A little late, but there's a red heart. I don't think it matters whether the rat full or not, so... There you go, Isaac. Did you hear that sound? You hear the remix, though? No, I ran into the... Shit. This boss theme though. <laughs> this boss theme though. So, like I said, we're unable to beat the game because we don't have the Polaroid because we warped. So that's pretty much the end of this run. And but I think you guys have seen all Flyzik has to offer here in the Devil's Harvest. So I hope you guys have enjoyed <laughs> this first episode of Isaac the Devil's Harvest. If you did, please leave a like. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike. Both ratings help out a ton. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, because I'll always be more. Let's play some game videos every single day. But thank you for your time. Thank you for just watching. I'll see you guys next time. We'll check out Fiend next. See you then.